Welcome to 3D Flow Academy. This episode is focused on mesh and point cloud cleaning directly within 3DF Zephyr. All these tools are available in all Zephyr's flavor, from free to aerial. Selection is applied on the selected workspace object. Always make sure to double check that you have selected the correct elements before applying selection tools. You may select a single object by keeping pressed left control when left clicking the desired item or you may select multiple objects by keeping pressed left shift when left clicking the desired objects. Rubber band selection. You can select points or triangles using this simple rubber band selection tool. Simply keep pressed the left click mouse button in order to resize the selection area. By default, the selection tool starts in selection mode, meaning that everything falling inside the rubber band area becomes the current selection. The red overlay shows the current selection. You may toggle add or remove if you'd like to combine the next action. At any given time, you may pause the selection using the right click button, or you can use the pause button. This allows you to move around freely in the workspace before resuming your selection process. Polygon selection. This type of selection is similar to the rubber band. Simply left click in the workspace to draw a polygon by placing the next point with each click. Rubber band and polygon selection can be easily combined together if you wish. You may invert the selection using the invert selection button. You may delete the current selection using the delete selected items button. Click the New Object via Copy button to create a new appropriate workspace item by copying over the active selection. Similarly, you can create a new object via Cut from the active selection. RGB Selection This tool is used on point clouds only. This is a very useful tool to remove noise, for example in the classic sky bleeding scenario. Click the Select by Color button. Click on the Color button to spawn the Color Selection widget and select the color you wish to filter, or simply use the Pick Color from Scene button and select a point that you wish to remove. Adjust the Threshold slider to select only those points that match the selection. Selection by Plane Available for both point clouds and mesh, the Select by Plane tool will select all elements above the spawned plane. Selection by Triangle You may select triangles by their longest edge, their area or their connected component. As mentioned in the first video tutorial, the Connected Component filter is very useful to remove the floating blob noise. Selection by Point Similar to the Select by Triangles category, these tools allow you to select points using the x84 algorithm or a plane fitting algorithm. Item selection allows you to do more than simple deletion or copy. In fact, you may apply certain filters on the active selection. Although point clouds and mesh filtering is the topic for another video tutorial, let's introduce this concept very quickly. In this example, my goal is to keep the high detailed mesh of the statue but lower the poly count in the floor and part of the pedestal. Since I have all the tools I need available in Zephyr, I do not have to export the mesh, edit it in Blender, import it back in Zephyr and then generate the texture. I simply select the desired area as discussed in this tutorial, click on Filter Selected Items and pick the desired filter, for example, Retopology. I am then ready to proceed down the Zephyr pipeline without having minimized Zephyr even once. Remember that at any time you may use the Undo Redo function and you may also clone your elements by right clicking them and selecting Make Copy. Thank you for watching and don't forget to join our 3D Flow Academy Facebook group and vote for the next video tutorial.